Shiriamunu says their intention was to plant 420 hectares of maize this year, but this could not be achieved due to late acquisition of agricultural inputs. The maize under irrigation currently will be harvested in July. The farm plans to plant another 240 hectares of maize in August. Maize is the main crop at the project at the commercial site, and it has two seasons of planting yearly. Next year, the project will rotate maize with wheat and other winter crops on the same field. When you plant maize, you use um, inorganic fertilizer, and these are uh, imported products. It's come from uh, South Africa, you know. During um, the festive season, everyone sh um, shut their business and go home. So um, now they started delivering, and then uh, it's a bit late to plant because winter comes, and then it, it's dangerous to maize. So it's, it's, it's quite enough to plant the 180. Chiliomunu says the problem of armyworms that attack, especially the maize crop, is still a problem, but they have found ways of dealing with the pests. He says after harvest, their maize will be milled at the project and sold locally, going as far as Kurenkuru and Ocho. The cost of agricultural inputs, among others, remains a challenge that eats onto the project's income but the tunda being one of the biggest green schemes is determined in their food production with the support from the agriculture ministry. We are not in control of uh, electricity and water. Those are the major utilities um, that we use to produce maize. The water we are using is coming from Kaluhek. So when those uh, pumps dies, uh, it will affect us heavily. As you see, some of uh, uh, the, uh, the plants are a bit wilting. This is because we had a, a breakdown of electricity. Um, uh, some of our infrastructure were, were affected. I don't know if it's weather or rain. So, but we are, it's under control. We are, we are, my team is busy with it. At the moment, the project also has sweet potatoes planted on two hectares. Tonatenia Embody NBC News, Etunda.